Okay, you're back with the Passion Fruit Walrus. We have enormous lips, and uh, this dialogue thing we have to read because for some reason they couldn't be bothered to get anyone to actually speak it. And this guy doesn't have a name either, he's just Field Team Leader, which kind of makes him a bit boring. You should think he'd be more interesting with that massive fuck off sword that he's got on his back, or thing that's pretending to be a sword. Anyway, not even here a whole day and already got your new. F got your first mission. You really are ready to get your hands dirty. Yes, I am. Let's get on with it. Oh, okay. Well, let's go look into this Jagras problem. But you'll need a weapon first. Yes, I will. But as, as I've said like several times already, she's got a fucking massive knife on her back. That is a weapon. Or at least it can be used as one. Over here. I object to this nonsense about her not having a weapon. There's a box full of equipment you can use in your quarters. Come on, I'll show you your, the way. Your room so you can grab yourself a weapon. Why have I got a room? I've only just turned up. Why do I suddenly have a room? Uh, apparently, right, equip a weapon from the item box. Alright. Do. Do we actually have to have that sort of slow mo look around the room? Some basic gear for you in that equipment box. Make sure to choose a weapon that suits you. How would I know what weapon suits me? I haven't been allowed to fight it at all yet. I can't know that until I've done something. And like, do we really need to be shown exactly where the, the box is? I mean, it's massive. It's not exactly hidden or anything, is it? I feel like I'm getting my hand held a bit too much so far. Change equipment, I suppose. I don't want a bloody tutorial. Can we just get on with it, please? Um. Right, okay, so Hunter's Knife is what I've got. Uh, belt, trousers. Those are trousers. Those are not trousers. Her thighs are bare. Trousers should cover the whole leg. Those are not trousers. No, that is taking the piss. Uh, leather headgear? Oh, can I get a bag over my head? Apparently not. Alright, so we've got a giant fuck off sword. Which does 380 attacks. That's got a nice, uh... I'm not really sure what any of this stuff does, really. And I don't think I'm going to look at the bloody, um... Instructions to find out. Cold drone. Fucking hell. Alright, trousers, trousers. Chainmail belt. On general trousers. Oh no, we've already picked bloody this. I and mean, why would we want to change it now? So I can have a katana, I can have a giant fucking sword, buster sword. Oh right, that's a, that's a reference to Final Fantasy then. Okay, I wonder if these people made the same game. Um, well, if we don't have to pay for it and it does massive damage, should we just go for the massive sword? Man, that thing looks huge. Oh, so is the katana actually. So we've got a sword and shield, two knives. <laughs> a giant lump of metal. <laughs> what the fuck is that supposed to be? Okay. Metal bagpipe. Why would I want a metal bagpipe? Iron lance. Okay, fuck it. Let's just go for the stupid sword. Um. Uh. Yeah. Okay. So is that it? Uh, right. You know, you kind of think you'd have to work for a weapon that big, really. I mean... Going? What? Your partner's got a quest for you. I think she's Once over... Ready, head to the canteen. <sighs> I'll be there, waiting with a quest. 
So you can get more familiar with your weapons at the training area. Just talk to the housekeeper to get started. Uh -huh. So not only do they not actually uh, read all the bloody dialogue that they keep throwing at you, but you can't even read it because it goes by so quick. Okay. Oh, come on, people. Start talking, for fuck's sake. I know this looks like some old closet that we turned into a makeshift room for your new... For you moo hunt you hunters. But that's not the case. I promise. Oh, come on. Seriously? They can't even talk properly. And it does still doesn't have a name. It's just housekeeper. It's fully furnished. Oh, come on. That's just lazy jokes. Seriously. I mean, my sense of humor isn't the best, to be fair. But someone got paid to write that. With everything meow needs. Oh, shitting hell. You have your very own equipment box where you can manage and change your gear. I know! I've just been in it. Didn't you see me? I was right there in the same room of, as you. Fucking blind moggy. I just hope you don't mind changing in front of others. Because you have roommates. Didn't they tell you about that? No? Uh, okay. Yes. Um, you can tell by my extremely short skirt that I am very, very shy. <sighs> Moving on. Bloody hell. Your room also comes with an area to manage your Palico's gear. Right next to your bed, even. Convenient, right? Yeah, I can sleep next to my own pussy. Great. Oh, one more thing. If you need access to the training area, just come talk to me. I am here to lend a paw 24-7. I aim to purr -lees. Now, what does Meowster need? Go to the training area, then, I suppose, because we'll find out how this stupid massive sword works. And if the answer is you mash the attack button, I will not be very impressed. At least, hopefully, it'll look fairly cool and do a decent amount of damage. Uh, okay. Okay, let's run through the hunting basics. First, ready your weapon. The great sword is a powerful close-range weapon. Though attacks leave you wide open, the payoff is well worth it. Yeah, that thing weighs like twice that what she does easily. Right, so... Oh, bloody hell, that's slow. Okay, um... Right, so... Oh, come on. That... That just feels slow. Really slow. Come on. <sighs> no. Okay, you know what? All these attack things are kind of annoying. Right, I want to... You can use the item box to manage your inventory. Oh good, now someone talks. I don't like the way they keep changing that. I Just pick one. Like, have dialogue that I have to read or have it spoken so I can just listen but don't fucking do both because that's pathetic and just ridiculous and irritating and all of it right uh, affinity I don't there's not really any stats to to just do anything with this is there right let's go for uh, the katana see if that's a bit faster right Sword is a close-range weapon designed for cutting attacks. Gather your spirit to increase its power. Okay, so basically, so you just do sort of combos and this kind of stuff. Okay. Uh, Right, let's have another look at... S s um, how do you put this bloody thing away? 
Um, right. You get it out with that one, but you can't put it away? What the fuck? Oh, come on. Right, can I just... Okay, your holster with right one. Fair enough. Okay. Uh, right, what else we got in the weapons drawer? Um, right, so that's 200 or something. Sword and shield, maybe? Doesn't do as much damage. See if it's a bit faster. I don't like slow weapons. The sword and shield is a close range weapon set that focuses on agility and dodging. It's great for beginners. Yeah, I think I prefer that actually. Yeah, at least it's fast. We'll try that. Uh, yeah, okay. So we done? Can I go now? Heading back to your room, Meowster. Yes. Do I have to ask? Can't I just go? Because I kind of assumed that this would be like an open world kind of game, but they really are just controlling you every step of the way. Like, it's kind of boring at the moment. Next, you need to sign up for a quest. Let's have, head over to the canteen. Right, okay. Oh, good. More loading screens. Come on. I want to hit something with a sword. You know? Something that bleeds. I want to see if that sword's actually any good in a fight. It does seem a bit strange, though. Like, you... It looks like you just pick one weapon. So it's like, well, do you actually get any choices, really, in the game? Because it seems a bit boring if you're just stuck with one thing. <sighs> now that you have access to the armory and provisions stockpile, grab what you need. Once you're done, go meet up with your handler in the cantina sign up for a quest. Handlers sort through the research commission's leads. And the ones they deem worth our attention become quests. Hey! <sighs> Over here. Provision <laughs> stockpile. Oh, nice weapon, buddy. I'm not your buddy. I mean, I'm clearly a chick. Anyway, I guess that means it's time to get hooked up with some supplies. I suppose. We carry pretty much everything you need, so if you're ever short on anything, I'm your guy. But as much as I'd love to take all all your zenny, presumably that's the what they're calling the currency, it's still a good idea to get gather as much as you can while out in the field. Okay. Uh, I have no idea what the hell I'm doing. Okay. Uh, Alright. Small barrel, barrel bomb, large barrel, trap tool, boomerang. Uh, right, okay, um, health, cures poison, juicy dried meat made by Astra's chef, boosts natural healing and cures bleeding. Hey! Small empty barrel, uh, have we got any money? Yeah, we have, we've got 2,000, okay, well, let's get, uh, let's spend like half, why can't I only buy four? Okay, let's get four of those then, just so I've got some healing shit. And I got a few other things anyway, so yeah, let's leave it at that. Uh, right, where's that annoying woman I'm supposed to be seeing? Is this the canteen? Or is this a library? That's a library. Where's the canteen? Maybe it was up there. Run, big lips and flashy legs. Although I suppose the weather does look fairly warm, so that kind of justifies it, I suppose. Right, how do I talk to... Oh, there you go. Right. Eating meals can boost stats such as health and stamina and grant special food skills. Oh, come on. 
Select the meal you wish to eat from the menu and take a good look at each meal's effects to help you determine which one will provide the best benefits for you next hunt. Oh, come on. That just seems weird. Okay. Uh... All right, health and stamina, stamina, stamina. Well, let's give her health and stamina then, shall we? Yeah, let's have a meal. You know, all these cats are kind of implying that this game was invented by teenage girls. Who don't have very good table banners. Temporarily boosted. Right, so where is this bloody girl? She keeps shouting at me. I mean, this is the can. Oh, there she is. Is that her? Right on time. What do you mean, right on time? I stopped to have a meal and you were still shouting at me. Why is she my handler? Why do I need a handler? It's offensive. Well, not offensive, but annoying. It implies I'm incapable of doing things by myself. Anyway. Okay, partner. Time to get down to business. The guild teamed up... Uh, teamed us up for a reason. They didn't team you up. You just randomly met on the boat. From now on, you're my hunter and I'm your handler. Do I get a choice in the matter? Can I have a different handler? Because you're an annoying little witch. But never mind. I'm the bread to your butter, Guess, got it? Um, do you want me to rub myself all over you? Mm, not really, I'm, I'm not really attracted to you in that way. Oh, yeah. The Fifth Fleet's first mission is to survey the Jagras, uh, the Jagras habitat. Then we gotta cull a certain number of them in order to secure the area. Yeah, but you can't secure the area if there's more, more of them around. What? Weird. Okay. Anyway, we can depart as soon as you sign up for the Jagras of the Ancient Forest quest. You ready? Yeah, alright. I'm waiting for you to get to the fucking point, you poxy witch. Right. A wild and wondrous new world is waiting for us out there. Post a new quest. What? Quests involve objects such as slaying monsters. To get started on a quest, first you have to accept it. Oh, can't we just get on with it? Of course I'm going to set the quest. Oh, just get on with it. Can we please just get on with it? Right, okay, now what? I, party members? I didn't, I don't think I'm even online, am I? Yeah, I've done that. Can we just go? Oh, come on. Can we just go? Opens the departure window. What departure window? What the hell are you talking about? Maybe I'll go back to the gate or something. I have no idea what the hell's going on. Right, okay. Okay, yes. Yes, I want to depart on the quest. Right, okay. What, those wyvern things are tame now? When did that happen? I mean, that's kind of cool that she can just grab one and just float off, but... When did that happen? We didn't train any of... Uh, tame any of the bloody... Th oh, him again. Alright, this is our first job. Let's do a quick review of quest rules. Why? I don't want to review the rules. I just want to go and kill one. some monsters. Complete the objective to complete the quest. Easy, right? Yeah, Each kind of. Quest has an objective. You can't consider the quest done until you complete that objective. Well, duh. What the hell do you think a quest the is? Objective is to eliminate a specified number of Jagras. Let's check the map. Ay ay ay. To some Jagras on the way to base. The small monsters. Remember? I, I saw them somewhere around here. Want to check it out? 
Oh, the ones that were so stupid that once we walked into a bush, they thought we disappeared. The supply box. The commission supplies us with a loadout of certain items for each quest. They're in the supply box over there. Have a look and decide what you should take along. How should I know what I should take along? And what was the point of arming myself earlier Ready if I've go. got to... If I've got to bloody uh, pick more okay. shit as soon as we go. Hey, partner. Oh, just... Okay, let's have that and that and whatever. Want to get going? Yeah, kind of. Want to get going? Sure, run ahead of me, you pushy prick. Uh... Okay, I don't know what that is. Right. Oh, right, this is the area with the beasties in. From the start. Oh, we're back at where we turned up. That's strange. Okay, then. Well, I think we'll leave it there. And in the next part, hopefully we'll actually get to kill something, because we still haven't. And, uh, yeah, we can see how that sword works. Right, so thank you for watching, and bye-bye for now.